Hey everyone and welcome back. Hopefully a short video today. As you've seen the last video uh, that I made uh, on LEDs, we discovered that the components on this unit didn't fail. However, the wiring uh, did let go. So basically if I can send power AC on through these two terminals, the LED is going to work. So I'm going to make the attempt to reassemble. So basically the trouble is getting this red wire uh, attached to this ground here, the, the threaded ground. So I'm thinking I might be able to just insert it in one of these holes. I don't quite see. I might be able to make a little solder connection here if I can poke it through. And of course the, uh, the transistor, which is the longer one, is going to go through the base. So I'm hoping to be able to uh, get this off somehow. This uh, tailpiece here. Oh, okay. There you go. We have access. So now, basically, uh, I'm going to get this uh, will it fit through. I think so. Yep, it's long enough. It sits about there, so it's going to be plenty long. And I'm going to lean the wire over once it's inside and pinch it down with this. Looks like it was threaded in there. I might put a little drop of glue in there, but I don't want to cause it not to make a connection. So yeah, uh, those little notches here. I'm going to see if I can get the wire through there, red wire through there first. Make it poke through there, somewhere through here. And maybe touch a bit of solder here. We can give it a good connection and then possibly um, may solder this, but this feels more like aluminum than anything else, I don't know, so here we go, wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this in shot, but it's hard to see what I'm looking at here, but uh, if I bring that in, you'll see the wire, i got to poke through here, that's the, uh, the red wire, and on the top here you see I have the transistor wire poking through, so now I'm going to try to get this in place, and then solder this wire onto this somehow and uh, put a bit of hot glue around the couple of spots here to hold this in place and then put this lid back on and maybe a couple of dabs of hot glue to hold it in place and then put this back in the shed so I can get some more use out of it. Let's see how we do. Not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, had the bulb assembled. The wire sticking out on the back tail end here because there's no real way to solder it. And the uh, little solder joint somewhere on this side. Where is it too? Here it is. Hopefully that solder will hold. Uh, switches are off in the shed. And here is the bulb going into the socket. Not sure if it's going to work, but nothing wagered, nothing gained. Okay. Fingers crossed. Jackpot. I got my shed light back. Thanks Noma for your high quality bulbs. I really appreciate it. Have a good day everyone.